This beef stew recipe is perfect for your lunch or dinner. It's easy to prepare and mouth watering. You're going to need minimal ingredients, which you're going to find listed in the description box. To get started, you'll need 500 grams of beef. So over here I have my beef and I'm going to be chopping up the beef into bite-sized pieces. This is a simple cut from my local butcher and also it's bone in. So I have some bones which are going to add a lot of flavor to my stew. Once done chopping up your beef, you're going to need a pressure cooker to boil the meat. If you don't have a pressure cooker, you can, use, you can simply use a pot, but make sure to boil the meat until tender. Mine is ready over here, my, my pressure cooker. So I'm going to add in my meat, add in a cup of water, a little bit of salt. Place the lid on my pressure cooker secure and boil for around three whistles until my beef is very tender. You're going to peel three carrots. Once done, you're going to chop up one end of your carrot just like this. Lay on the side that is flat and chop into strips. Once done, you're going to chop up the carrots into long strips just like this. After three whistles, my meat is tender. And I've already manually released the pressure from the pressure cooker. This is how my beef is looking like and it's cooked perfectly. So the next step is to cook my beef. So I'm going to place a pan over medium flame, add in some cooking oil, around two tablespoons of cooking oil. I'm going to add in one medium onion. Saute until soft. Add in some crushed garlic and ginger. Saute for around 30 seconds until the garlic and ginger is fragrant. Once you notice the garlic and ginger browning, you're going to add in one diced tomato. Add in a splash of water so that the tomato can fully cook. I'm going to be adding in two spices. I have some paprika over here. I'm going to add in a teaspoon and some black pepper. I love black pepper. If your tomatoes are not getting fully cooked, you can use a fork and mash down the tomatoes as they cook. Make sure not to scrape your nonstick pan because you're going to spoil. When the tomatoes are ready, I'm going to add back my meat. Toss the beef in the tomato sauce just like that. If you notice that your pan is drying out, you can add in a splash of water. Mix everything together. I've already prepped up my sauce, which I added in some dark and light soy sauce together with oyster sauce. And because they're very high in sodium, I'm not going to be adding any more salt to my pan. So I'm going to add in some balsamic vinegar to my pan, which is going to add a very nice flavor to our beef. Next, I'm going to add in my sauce. Toss everything together. Add in my carrots. And let everything cook for around five minutes on low. So the carrots are going to soften up as the meat slowly cooks and also the beef is going to absorb 
all the nice flavors from our sauce. This is a very nice way that you can add some veggies to your beef stew. Also, the kitchen is smelling absolutely delicious. So I'm going to let my beef cook on low for five minutes. After five minutes, my beef stew is ready and it's looking so delicious. The kitchen is smelling so nice. And I love the pop of color that the carrots have added. The beef stew is best served over some rice, mashed potatoes, or even ugali. And trust me, once you try this recipe, it's going to be the best and it's going to be perfect. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll catch you on my next video.